Alright guys, welcome back to the video that I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for. In this tutorial, we're going to start learning how to use GitHub. Now, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you guys already know exactly what GitHub is and what it's used for, but for those people who maybe you never even heard of it before, or maybe you did hear of it but you aren't really sure what it is, and you don't really know how it's different than Git, let me go ahead and explain this real quick. Now. Of course we know that Git is pretty much a program that allows you to keep track of changes in a project and it's very good at that and you can use it with projects like this one, uh, maybe you have another project you're working on and you can use it all on your own computer. Well what GitHub allows you to do is pretty much make public projects. So it's a website where you can pretty much take any project that you're working on and you can publish it for the world to see. So the reason that you would want to do this is because now once you publish it online anyone can go and they can look at your files pretty cool they can suggest um, some changes and also what they can do is once they have and I'll show you guys how to do this once they find a project that are like okay this looks pretty cool I'm gonna work on it they can just download it alter their local computer make whatever changes they want to make and then they can submit their changes to this website right here. So actually today, of course, this is the project for my mobile site that everyone's working on. Today, someone went to this file and they found out that there is a extra CSS link that pretty much um, it was a bug. It was a CSS file that I forgot to delete. So they deleted it. They submitted their changes and I looked at it and I was like, you know what? Thank you for finding it. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this into the main project. So this was the old file, this was the line he deleted, and now this is the new cleaned up one. So it's pretty much an area or a website where everyone can see your project files, everyone can see the changes that you're making, and everyone can collaborate and work on these projects together. Very freaking cool. So that's what it is. I guess my explanation was a little bit longer than I thought. But now that we know what it is, let's go ahead and figure out how to use it. Now anytime you want to use GitHub, whether you're publishing your own projects or just helping out with someone else's, you need a GitHub account. And I'm not going to talk you guys through making an account because you literally just press uh, create an account, fill out a username and a password, and I don't know, it's just like creating any other account on the internet. No explanation is really necessary. But once you have your account set up and you're logged in, this of course is the GitHub homepage. So let's go ahead and first learn how to make a new public project, a new public repository. So in this drop down right here, click new repository and depending on when you're watching this video, it may be somewhere else, but you're going to find a button or a, an option that says new repository and click that and it takes you to this page. Now the first thing you have to do is you need to give your repository or your project a name. So let me just name this tutorials because I'll put some like example files in this one and just for anyone who's watching these tutorials they can like play around with them. Now what I would recommend doing is giving a description to your project but since this is kind of an example I don't really need one but this would just be like the new Boston's um, GitHub tutorials or something like that. So after that after you're done giving a name and an optional description if you want you have to choose public or private. Now public as you can see anyone can see this repository anyone can see these files anyone can download them and suggest changes private is if you're making a piece of software that isn't open source maybe you work for a company or I don't know you got hired to do something and of course you don't want the world to see your source code so you would um, make it private so then only the people you give access to have access to your files However, for this, we're going to choose public, and also, I should mention this, whenever you have private, you need an account for these, and the cost of it is actually dependent on how many repositories or how many projects you want. So I think the basic is $7 a month, but I really don't like that because open source for life suckers. All right, so public means open source. That's what we want to do. That's perfect for these tutorials. Now, the only other option we have before we actually create this project is this initialize this repository with a readme. Now we want to leave this unchecked and the reason for that is because whenever we actually created 
a repository before, remember that we did git in it and we initialize it right from the command line in git bash. So we don't want to initialize it this way because it's already initialized. Pretty cool. So pretty much the only thing you do is give it a name, choose public, and create. So check it out. We now have a public repository. We now have the basics, um, the basic outline of a project. So right here, it's saying, okay, this is pretty much giving you connections to connect git bash to this project. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now. So actually, let me do this. I'll show you guys the bare basics of exactly what we want to do. Because it's open and what are you open by? This may be. Yep. All right. So whenever we want to make a public repository, let me just copy this. And this is just an example. I'll paste this and I'll rename it to BRM. Bucky's Room Mobile, that's what that stands for in case you didn't know. All right, so where am I? So let's go ahead and get in that folder. So desktop, BRM. All right, so we are in this folder right now. Now remember, let me clear this. This is just a normal folder right now. We didn't initialize it. We didn't add any files, nothing. So the first thing we want to do is initialize it. In other words, we want to turn this into a regular Git repository. So right now, this has nothing to do with GitHub. This is just how we're making it into a regular Git repository so it can track the changes. So the next thing that we want to do is add all the files and commit them. So git add, git commit. Now I'll just write first commit. Hit enter and just put git log. And it says okay. So this is nothing new, nothing to do with GitHub. All we did is we created or we initialized a Git repository on our local computer and we committed all the files. So everything is up to date, pretty freaking cool. So now what I would like to do is I would like to take this project and publish it on GitHub so that everyone from around the world, you guys, can pretty much work on this together. So how do we do that?